at the Duisburg Zoo or any concrete box, they are involved in sensory deprivation. Is that stressful? Of course it's stressful. It shouldn't be rocket science to figure out why they have 60 dead dolphins. These are disposable dolphins for our disposable society for casual amusement. There isn't any other reason they're there other than casual amusement. Of course, they have a, they have a point of view and they will tell you they're here for education and research and conservation. And that's the big lie. That's really the reason I left that industry. I got tired of telling that lie about education, research, and conservation. There are lots of marine mammal scientists and especially veterinarians who prostitute themselves to this multi-billion dollar industry. If you take the profit motive out, they would not be uh, telling this lie. They know, they know, or they should know, dolphins do not belong in captivity. We've been keeping them in captivity since 1938, and it's a failed experiment. And they know that. I got tired of being a professional liar. If you want to be a professional trainer, you have to be a professional liar because you have to lie to the public every day, every time they ask you a question. You have to lie to the media and you have to lie to yourself. So that was bothering me for a long time, but I didn't do anything about that. Uh, but one of the moments that stands out in my mind was when I brought the television set down to the edge of the dock so Flipper could watch Flipper on television. And I realized they are self-aware. Dolphins are self-aware like humans. Well, what does that mean? And I had to deal with this information. This is information. And when you get information, there's a certain responsibility connected to it. Uh, what it means is they don't belong in captivity. There is no reason in the world for a dolphin to be born in captivity, in a building, in a concrete box. Uh, it's a form of bad education, actually, the Duke's board. So it's, it's, it's the opposite of what they're telling us. Well, well, you know, they'll say we, if we don't have these dolphins at the Duke's board Zoo, these children would never get to see a dolphin. Well, these very same children will never see a snow leopard. Does this mean we have to go to the Himalayas and drag a snow leopard into the building for these same children? Or do we teach our children to control their desires, which I think is the key to solving all of our environmental problems, controlling our desires? These same kids are never going to see a dinosaur, yet they love dinosaurs. So you don't have to have a dolphin in captivity to appreciate them and to learn about them. It's, it's just simply not true that we have to display them. Like the Monterey Aquarium, for example, if you look at the Monterey Aquarium in California, it's, it's the most successful aquarium, I think, in the world. Every time I go there, the line is all the way around the block. People are just dying to get in there. And they don't have live dolphins on display. There are many dolphins, I think every species, hanging from the ceiling. They're fiberglass and they're very beautiful. And that's all you really need to, to uh, educate people. And lots of children go there and they learn about dolphins. So there are uh, many uh, uh, alternatives. <coughs> 